Good morning, guys. This is a new channel that I have built because I have lots of people asking me how to build my ships. This is one of them. You have a small compact build that actually transports um, all the crew that you will need and, and damage output as well. It's really good. So. First, let me just remove this from here. Up to you guys. Okay, literally all that's here, except for the engines, you can find on the Tayo Astronating uh, uh, part of. Neon. Um, I think it's in Ryuhu. I have no idea if I pronounced that right. So, yeah. But, yeah, this piece, these, all these pieces are Tayo, except for the engines, uh, that you can find the engines, in, if I'm not mistaken, in New Homestead, um, but in Titan. So yeah, the design is really simple and human friendly. <laughs> you have the gears here on this side, and you have one thing that I opted to do was adding two of the same control st uh, stations, but one is from bottom, one is from top, to give that nice rounded silhouette. The docker is the slim docker is here, along with the bay here. Because, and why did I do this? Because I like to have all the crew that I can have, which is eight, aren't capped by the game at the moment. Uh, you can see when it's built down here that the max crew goes towards nine, but yeah, you can't take it nine unless you bug it or glitch it. This ship is also vanilla. And uh, yeah, after you build this in Tayo, you can just and it will be something like oh shit. I made a mistake so there you go on the top side which is all where all the components are the fuel tanks the uh, reactor that requires some certain skills to use it. So, uh, in a few moments I will show you one way to ro work around that, because I also know that not, even, uh, not everybody has the same possibilities at the moment. So, yeah. Uh, I use this one to break the lines of that one, the bracer, because I also need weapon mounts, because in this uh, gear and this kind of build, you don't have many weapon mounts, and here you can literally double a point by using the weapon mount you get two, and since it's high enough, you can use two weapons on each side, um, and yeah, it's really, it's really good to meet the quota, so to say. For example, if you need more fuel, because with this build you only have 210 fuel, uh, but if you need more, you can do the following. Reactor, you pick one, probably this one or this one. One of these. Uh, it's up to you, okay? But the slimmest one with the top mount uh, option you can come here and Example, put more fuel or even better you can come here I'm in new homestead that's why you have the Nova parts but you can come here and do even better control G to duplicate so it stays the same color uh, you can, then you can 
Tokyo tanks. You can have these ones. Starship, you need the skill of Starship Design rank 3, but you get like only in one tank you get the bubble plus something fuel in that if you really want it. Uh, if you don't want to keep the mass up, you can also use two of these. And there you go. You have literally everything. One hero. Ship potential module that exceed reactor class. Yeah, because this is B, this is B, and I think. Yeah. No, wait. What is exceeding the rank? Oh, the. Um, yeah, the shield. But even so, that you can also uh, change if you want. Uh, most more cost effective. Um, build and that fits along with the with your uh, small build or our B class ship. There you go. Here you can also do this and you can even put more here. And there you go. It's the smallest one. This is I just modified but it won't be my ship. I'm just showing you the possibilities that you have to build a B-class compact ship. You can also literally do this for A-class. You just need, because the engines are A-class, so feel free for that. You can all draft drive, for example. Let's see for A-class. Uh, A. A. Okay. Reactor. Oh. A class. There you go. Ship models exceed reactor class. Yeah, again the shield. You can. Then you see 100 here. There you go. You can literally build this, or you can choose to. Yeah, even so. Yeah, it's kind of cute actually. This is A class. What I showed you before was B class, and mine is this one, C class. This is my build. This is the final one that you guys can do and li you literally don't have to break apart the ship you just need to change this which is the spine of the ship and yeah it's up to you and the weapons that you want to use as i said there you can see the possibility to duplicate duplicate in the sense of uh doubling yeah that's the in the sense of doubling the amount of slots for the weapons. I use these ones, which are really good for DPS, have a nice range of fire, and yeah, and these ones to incapacitate uh, your enemies so that you can board. And there you guys go. Huh? There you have it. Yeah. I'm sorry, it's too early in the morning. And yeah, you actually do not, in my opinion, you don't need anything else if you can build this C-class version. You don't need anything else because the mass is low, top speed 150, mobi mobility 100, jump range 30 like years, max crew 9, but as I said, the game are caps it at 8. Cargo, it's a bit lacking, but it's a small ship, so shield and hull are really good for the size so yeah i hope you guys enjoyed i hope to see a few more bumblebees in the sky and space see ya have fun <laughs>